Hello, my friends. We continue our journey through factor analysis, but I wanted to take just a moment and talk to you about, again, about constructing research questions. Uh, factor analysis is fundamentally a correlational process, so our research questions will be very similar to what we uh, constructed back when we did just simple correlational research. The typical, of course, quantitative research flow, again, is to identify a project, establish a purpose, frame the questions, write the hypotheses, and identify the research methodologies. Now, I am uh, doing this a little bit, uh, I guess, a little bit differently because I, I, I know that what we're going to look at is factor analysis, but, but when you develop your project, this is what you want to do. The research project should entail a study, of course, of interest to you as we've We've stated before, you're going to be with it a long time. Choose something that you like. Now, it must have a target or purpose in mind. Factor analysis is about looking for underlying relationships or associations. And words are key to framing your research questions. These two words, relationships, associations, will identify a correlational study. And since factor analysis is fundamentally a correlational analysis, uh, they, they can be used with a factor analysis uh, project. Quantitative studies usually have at least two initial questions. Again, a descriptive question where you collect your descriptives and a methodology question uh, to guide your quantitative analyses. Uh, the descriptives then help to make sense of the quantitative analysis. This, this you will find in most quantitative studies. This is a fairly accepted methodology uh, some people reject it, but I, I think the bulk of quantitative researchers will want to do a descriptive question and then a methodology question. Uh, get your descriptives first, and here's an example that we're going to work on in this video. What are the percentages of disciplinary placements, African American, Hispanic, white, economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency at risk, and special education students in Texas independent school districts in 2011? First of all, 2011, Texas Independent School Districts. This obviously did not come from the IPED. So the data source for this will be the AEIS, the Academic Excellence Indicator System, uh, published by TEA. I chose it because many of you will be working in public school backgrounds. Just want to share with you some of the power you can have. How many variables do we have? Disciplinary placement, African American percentages, Hispanic, white, economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency, at risk, in special education. So we, in fact, have eight variables here, and we're asking, okay, what are the percentages for these 1,200-plus uh, school districts in Texas? Methodology questions should clearly lay out the research to be conducted. Now, I want you to look at this question. Do relationships exist between or among the percentages of disciplinary placements, African-American, Hispanic, white, economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency, at risk, and special education students in Texas independent school districts in 2011. Do relationships, plural, exist? Now, we said between or among, not just between, but between or among, because there are two or more variables, and that's important to know. Good research question. Now, again, on hypotheses, I recommend that when you deliver your hypothesis to match that question, that you provide both the null and the alternate hypothesis for each methodology question. Uh, this entails HO and HA for factor analysis. You remember HO is the null, HA is the affirmative. And the hypothesis should match the research question. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Now, here's the null hypothesis. No relationships exist between or among the percentages. Pretty good, isn't it? And here's the, here's the alternate. Relationships exist between or among. No relationships, relationships. Fairly easy to frame that. The research methodology, of course, is driven by the research question. I look at that question and we talk about relationships. Uh, at least we know that this is correlational. We could do a, 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 a correlational matrix on these variables. Or with this question, we could choose to answer it with a factor analysis. Uh, the typical research flow, again, as I've told you, identifies the project, the purpose, uh, frames the questions, you write the hypotheses, and you identify your research methodologies. My question is, how did we do 
in presenting this to you for factor analysis. I hope you gain something from it. I want to again thank you very much for your support. Your loyalty and patronage means a lot to me. Uh, live long and prosper, and peace and long life. This is old Dr. Dog signing off.